Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Bastion 1 uh, and our Super Mario Maker 2 adventure. Now it might be weird seeing two episodes of this Let's Play come out on the same day, and the reason that happened is because at the end of the last episode I was playing a level that me and a friend of mine made, uh, Kung Pao Enter the Fist, and that level was really, really fucking pissing me off. Like, I was playing it for an hour, and I got to the point where I was just done. I was just fucking done with it. And so I needed, I needed to take a break, but I had promised to play more levels, so I decided instead of playing more levels in that episode, I'll just release another episode um, playing levels. So that's why we got two episodes of a Let's Play in one day, which is pretty cool. Uh, in this episode, we'll be playing Propellers in the Sky, Mario the Pizza Delivery Guy, and Hidden Blocks in the Dark. Um, I'm a little bit worried with Propellers in the Sky, uh, because it, it's, uh... It's kind of got the same feeling that uh, Kung Pao to the Fist has, and the, that what feeling I'm talking about is the one of, it's not a long level, but it feels long because the amount of times you'll have to, because when you die, you go to the beginning, you have to do everything over again. That's what makes it feel long. Uh, the other two are going to be a nice break, uh, but Propellers in the Sky is, are, is definitely going to be a bit of a challenge. I don't think it's going to be that bad, but I think it's still going to be a fucking challenge. The goal is to make it through the level without taking any damage, um, and obviously it's got to do with the propeller suit, and so you got to make it through the whole level using the propeller suit, and uh, you don't want to get hit. And if you get hit, you can't beat the level anyways, because you need the propeller suit for the level, so. I really do like the concept of this level, um, because the propeller suit's one of my fucking favorite power-ups, and, uh, I, I do think it's a good level, it's just that it's, it pisses me off sometimes. So for this part, I'm going to try fucking patience. Okay, so I, there's a little trick to this part here. Uh, you're supposed to hop on a bullet and propeller, but if you propeller from the pipe, you can make it without needing to hop from a bullet. That part's normally a pain in the bitch for me, but I seem to do it pretty quick, which is the floating bombs. There's a hidden block there, which makes... um your life easier if you don't fuck up. Okay. So from what I remember, um, this is the more challenging part. And you might be shocked because with my previous levels, I haven't been able to um, remember shit as easily. But I played this level actually not too long ago. So that's the reason that everything's clicking. Like I'm remembering everything is because I played this level not too long ago. So this is the part that I hate most. Is this... Um, I don't know what to call it, like, roller coaster section. I don't know. Okay, um... I hate... This is my least favorite section, the fireball section right here. I actually made, I made uh, that section not that bad. Oh, and the bonsais are gone. Am I gonna beat this in the first fucking try? No fucking way. I did. And also, I noted about that paratroop up. Is that has accidentally killed me so many fucking times. Like, I'll, I'll be like, yes! I made it to the fucking end, yes! And then I'll, I'll propel right into him, not knowing he's there. Yeah, it's, it's a bitch. But, uh, I, I actually, I, I guess I, uh... I speed run it, <laughs> I speed ran the level. Really quick. I was worried about this one, and then, like, first fucking try. Now, be careful with this next section, because uh, I, you know, you want to hit this. That's the important thing. Don't fly right to the fucking end. First try! First fucking try. I was so worried about that, but first try. I did not expect to actually beat that on my first fucking try, but... I did. That was Propellers in the Sky. And uh, next up is Mario the Pizza Delivery Guy. Normally I'd switch to Toadette. But it's called Mario the Pizza Delivery Guy, so I'm gonna switch to Mario. On the next level, I'm gonna be Toadette. To make up for it, so... It's gonna throw everything kind of out of swing, uh, but uh, you know it's called Mario the Pizza Delivery Guy, so we gotta play as Mario. Now the fun part about this level is uh, this is, I guess, kind of an unpopular level online, is because few people get soft locked and they get mad at me for it and they write comments like, "Oh, this level fucking sucks," or "I got soft locked." So I'm gonna give you a tip on not to get soft locked. I think the part where they're getting soft locked is is here. So you want to do this on your first try. Be fast and be quick. Grab the shell and book it out as fast as you can. That's the part where you get soft locked. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do it again because I fucked up. 
Get both of them. Book it. Don't get soft lock. Be fast. So this Koopa shell is supposed to represent a pizza. And you're, you're Mario and you're delivering a pizza. Now I would grab the car, but I can't remember if you actually need that. If you can carry the car while you've got the Koopa shell. This is supposed to be like a uh, represent a train or something. And then you got trees, and these Goombas are supposed to represent people, and one of those people just ate the fucking pizza, assholes. <laughs> Actually, it'd be easier if I just fucking click start over. Reach the goal while holding a Koopa shell. This is a pizza place, obviously, because it says pizza, and you've got uh, tables and chairs here with dry bones sitting down. This is supposed to represent the pizza oven. This Goomba's the chef. Which I'm gonna kill the chef. If I there we go, fuck you, chef. And uh grab the Koopa shell, don't get soft locked. And we're leaving the pizza place. This is the parking lot here. I'm not gonna grab the car, cause Mario he's like um he's like he doesn't fucking need a car, he's like fucking Sonic speed. Mario's faster than Sonic, let's confirm this shit. <laughs> I'm going to be very careful. I'm trying not to kill any Goombas because that could accidentally result in me losing the Koopa shell. There's a hill and a drunk driver. That, that's the funny thing is when I was making this level, I wanted a drunk driver. So that's exactly what I thought when making that Koopa Trooper. And that effect clearly shows that that's supposed to represent a drunk driver. Oh, look, there's another one. So this is the apartment complex that's supposed to be, you know, the, I guess, the, the counter guy. These are the apartment numbers. Three, four, one, two. And then the one at the top. And this is the guy that we're delivering the pizza to. So, fuck, fuck him, though. You know, we're gonna eat the pizza ourselves. So that was Mario, the pizza delivery guy. Pretty cool level. Next up is Hidden Blocks in the Dark. And I'm going to switch to Toadette like I promised. You know, with Hidden Blocks in the Dark, you might think this is an absolutely fucking piece of shit level, a troll level like Kung Pao into the Fist. But it's not. It's actually a puzzle level. Uh, there's no trolling in it. Uh, the goal is to find hidden blocks that help you advance through the level. Like, they'll activate vines and shit like that. Uh, I think it's a really cool level. And I know a lot of people don't like hidden blocks, but um, uh, I think this is a really cool level. So the hidden blocks will help you get these coins you need. So I think there's one up here. Oh, fuck, you can jump really high in the Mario World theme. See? Hidden block right there. Advances you to the first one. So you gotta be on the lookout for hidden blocks. And if you're having trouble with this level, I guess it can be kind of like a, like a guide. Because it's been a while since I played it too, so I gotta remember a lot. I think there's one on top of the thwomps. Yep. It's gonna be extra careful. I, I swear, if there's a pit right there. I remember there was something there, because that's obviously... Something marked there with the two clocks. You're obviously going to know something's there. I forgot that Dry Bones can throw fucking bones in the Mario World theme. Oh, I hate this part. This is my least favorite part in the level, I think. So this, uh, this part is not really hidden block related, it's kind of just be like, go fucking quick and get the fucking coin. Is this the, no, this isn't the only ghost house level I've made, I thought it was. I didn't really need that, but okay. I'm, I'm nervous that I'm gonna accidentally fall into a pit here. Trigger the thwomp. I, I don't want to kill it. No, I didn't want to kill it, because that one's a... I fucked. Uh, I don't think there's any way I'm beating this. I think I accidentally soft-locked myself. 
I'm not, I wouldn't be soft locked. It'd be fucked myself over. Well, unless I, I, I'm able to do, yeah, I'm, I, I'm going to try to make it, but I, I absolutely doubt I can actually, maybe it's possible. Fuck, I'll restart it. That's why I didn't want to fucking book it to the other thwomp, because I, I knew I was going to fuck up and hit him. I'm not losing that mushroom, fuck that. So I guess at the beginning of the next level, I gotta switch to the Ouija. To, because, you know, I've already played as Mario, so that kind of throws everything out of balance. But I guess it's alright, because I've, I've almost already played every level that I've, I've made, so... This Let's Play series is almost over. Um, next week, the last episode of it releases, which is, you know, it's hard to believe. Like, holy shit, this has gone by really fast. And I guess a part of that is because I played two episodes in this video. I mean, I, I put two episodes this week out, and I was only planning on doing one. But in all fairness, I was planning on doing the exact same amount of levels in one episode. But, you know, I just got fed up and I decided instead of uh, putting them in one episode, I'll just do it in two, so... Nothing really changed, except the fact that uh, they were put in two episodes instead of one. That's why I fucking hate that section. Fucking stupid. I am calling it stupid, but I'm the one that fucking made the section. First coin down. If uh, we have a lot of time left, I... I'm not going... I think I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to play any more of my levels if we have a lot of time left in this episode. What I'm going to do is I think I'm actually going to go online for a change and play some levels, which is, you know, it's weird because I haven't done that in Mario Maker. I haven't played levels online. I've only ever played my own levels in the first and second game on the channel. But, you know, I want to save the last three for the next episode. So it's like, you know, I might do a change of play, a pace and play a few online levels. Shit. Fuck. There we go. I was just I just wanted to make it out of there alive. There we go. That's what I wanted. And I'm gonna you know uh and I know there's nothing out there. And I forgot you can kill booze like this, can't you? Yeah you can. Now for this section I've learned my lesson. Doesn't even matter, because I fucking gotta reset this shit. Ah, oh, fuck. See, it's not a troll level. It, it's, uh... you. I guarantee a lot of people have passed the opportunity to play in this level online because they thought it was a troll level, because it had to do with hidden blocks. And it's in the dark, too, which is even more of a... You know, like, oh god, I don't want to fucking deal with them in the dark. You know, I don't like them on their own, but in the dark, jeez, it's a fucking nightmare. So I, I understand why a lot of people would have passed the opportunity to play this level. But I think it's really cool. It's one of, uh, it's one of my favorite concepts. Shit! Mother f I swear if I die here. Oh, thank you. It's a fucking miracle. Patience. No! Son of a bitch. I thought Propeller in the Sky was going to be the level where I fucked up the most, but I got that one on my first fucking go, and I guess the level that I'm struggling with right now is fucking Hidden Blocks in the Dark. Oh, okay, I was fucking worried there. I don't know why. I just, I don't like the, you know, the feeling of being in the dark, you know, because it's like something's lurking there and it's going to fucking gonna kill me. Imagine if the booze were in the dark and they didn't light up. That would fucking suck. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, I thought there was uh, something hidden up there. Like, it was, I didn't think it was going to be too much. I was thinking, like, oh, maybe it's a one-up. There we go. I was worried because I didn't want to kill the other one. Oh, that, that's all it was, was a spring. I was thinking it would be a hidden block. No! I got an impatient. Oh, fuck. I think that's what's been getting me this level, is just my stupid decisions. I think a lot of this level has to do with thwomps. You haven't even seen the final fucking section of this level yet. I'd like to keep the cape. That'd be nice. Oh, but no. No, I'm not allowed to keep the cape. Fucking booze, you assholes. Oh, can I stay alive at least? Thank you. I almost jumped on that block. Imagine how fucking much that would have sucked. No! <sighs> dry bones. I can make it with the dry bones, right? I can. I can. I, I can 100% make that with the dry bones. I don't need the spring. I can do this. See? Fuck the spring. I think there's a coin up here. I cheesed my own level. I needed to bring that back. This It needs to, needs to be brought back from the Mario Maker 1 Let's Play. It's like a catchphrase when we're playing, Mar when we're playing Mario Maker. Fuck! I'm not gonna get up enough speed, but I, I think I am. But I, I don't know. I just fucking crank the bitch, I guess. Yes. Okay. Okay. I need to be really patient right here. Oh, I've got. Uh, you know, I I can certainly take a hit because of uh, the fucking shell. Okay. Boom. Got clear condition. Doing good. I'm doing really, really good. Oh, this this is right at the flagpole, I think. I just... I, I swear if I die here. Yes! Yes! Fuck yeah. I did it. I did it. Okay, so that was Hidden Blocks in the Dark. And, uh, I'm aware that we, uh, have a lot of time left. Like, this has only, like, been 18 minutes. And, uh, I did not expect this to take, you know, not that long. I've still got fucking three levels left. And I'm not doing the next one. Because I know this one's gonna take me a while. This is the level I've been dreading this whole fucking Let's Play. Which is The Legend of Mario's Sand Caves. And I, I I'm, I'm really not a fan of this level. Oh, uh, fuck. And I'm the one that made it. Uh, the next two I think are really cool, but those are all the levels I made, so I think we're going to take a break. And actually, for the first time in Bowser Gen 1 history, we're going to Course World. And while I'm here, I'll, I guess I can show you the level codes. Uh, my level codes. Um, so here's the level code that I just, uh, you know, for the hidden blocks in the dark. Uh, so yeah. I don't know how to show my maker ID, but... Uh, there's the ID code for Hidden Blocks in the Dark. Um, uh, I guess we'll just go with courses. We'll start with, uh, let's see what they have popular courses. Um, I'm gonna try to pick one that looks interesting. These ones are always the same, I find. That one looks insanely difficult. This really all they have for uh, popular. I remember popular on Mario Maker One. That was really cool because they had like that Mission Impossible level. That was awesome. None of these seem really up my alley though. Purple Comet. This I think this is a music level. It is. 
These are really cool. Purple Comet. Mario Galaxy, my second favorite video game. Oh, I'm still told that. I guess that doesn't matter. Oh, it's so cool. It's giving me Mario Galaxy vibes. Do, 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 do. I replayed uh, Mario Galaxy in the summer. I, I did it on the uh, the 3D All-Stars collection. And I, it was really different because I've always used to play Mario Galaxy on the Wii. And it's that's still my favorite way to do it. Like the Wii, Wii Remote and the Nunchuck. Uh, but it was it, you know, still Mario Galaxy. You know, it was still really amazing and still had a fun time playing it. That's a game that I would really love playing on the channel, and I can do that now with uh, the 3D All-Stars version, but that would be a long Let's Play, but uh, I'd love to do that on the channel sometime. Yeah, they, uh, the person that made this, they really did an awesome job with the music. Like, just listen. Fucking amazing. I, I never could do something like this. I find it truly amazing how some of the shit people do. It's fucking cool. Like, imagine the time that went into this. Like, wow. This is fucking dedication. It's amazing. A lot of Kirby pictures. Some Luma ones, too. Alright, that was a really cool level. That was cool. I'm, I'm, I was happy with that. Gonna uh, like that one. I am going to bring up the course ID because oh, it's right there. So, um, let's view the creator. Um, you should check the creator out. Um, I'm, I am sorry, but I don't know how to how to say that name because I think it's Japanese and I don't speak Japanese. So, uh, definitely check this creator out. And uh, there's the ID right there. Check it out. It's fucking awesome. Uh, I think that's going to be it for popular. Let's go to hot courses. Oh, we just did a level of the dark. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, training three. Sonic all seven chaos emeralds. Sonic exe. Oh, God. I'm just looking for a level that I find interesting. I, I, I think the problem is a lot of creators just show to kind of show the flagpole. And they don't show, uh, they don't show that. Hey, that that's a Dramachi Dash level, Mario Maker. I don't know if you remember, but in uh, my Mario Maker 1 Let's Play, I, I made a drum Dramachi Dash level of Mario Maker. So I think we're going to try, uh... What is his name? Yeet Yeet. Yeah. We're going to try Yeet Yeet's level. So there's the, the course ID. Check the level out. We're going to try uh, this level. It's probably better than my drum with your dash level. So. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of auto-themed. Oh, shit. Is this like one of the difficult levels? Because I think for my drum with your dash level, I did the first one. Fuck. I mean, I'm going to keep this up. I have a feeling I'm, I'm going to keep trying. You think my levels were difficult? You've, you haven't seen me play a fucking online level. I'm giving up. I'm sorry. I know I barely tried, but I'm giving up. <laughs> try, try the level yourself. You might be able to do it. Let's go to new courses. I always like playing new courses, I find. Ghost House, the right door. I like playing Ghost Houses. Was it Bella83 made this level? You guys should check this level out. Uh, course ID, uh, it's right there, and I'll bring it up after I beat the level. It looks kind of like a puzzle level. It looks off to a good start. Oh, fuck. I'm going to go in this door. Oh. Is there a level requirement? Did, did I did I miss a level requirement? No clear condition. There's a checkpoint here. 
I don't know why I need one, but okay. It's gonna be like a maze, isn't it? It's kind of cool. That's why I really like going to the new course selection is because, you know, you get to see all these courses that people made for the first time. Like, you're the one that sees it first before anyone else. And there's a lot of cool stuff, uh, underrated stuff, in uh, the new course selection. I mean, not all of it's good. Some of it's just, like, really simple and easy levels. But um, there's a lot of creative levels in uh, the new course selection, too. Probably should have started with the pipe, which seems like the obvious selection. Oh, uh, it wasn't. It's probably this door then, right? Okay, so now we've got other options. Got a good P switch for that door. Kind of the P switch. No! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fuck, fuck is shit. Um. Nervous. Oh, there's a mushroom. Thank you. Appreciate it. Feels so different playing online levels, but it's, it's really cool at the same time. That was a cool level. You should definitely check it out. That was kind of cool, like how it was like a puzzle or a maze. First clear, too. Oh, I, I meant to like that. Uh, um, do I have to go into more info to like it? Oh, I can. Okay. Like it. So there's the, the course ID. Check it out. And I think I'm going to go to network play. And let's do a multiplayer versus round. It decreased. Okay. That doesn't surprise me. I'm not good at these. Takes a while. Hopefully, oh yeah, you can vote with uh, with people online on what difficulty, right? Okay, so three people have joined the match. Just waiting for the fourth one. There's the fourth one. I'm Luigi. Yes, I always like being the Mario Brothers. Oh, we don't get to vote the difficulty. I guess it's just probably normal difficulty then. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot. You gotta wait. Why am I being picked up, okay? I don't like being picked up with this shit. I, I always wait because it's just like, if you wait, you got the best chance of having the best start because, you know, everyone else is fucking impatient. Oh shit, I thought it was like a secret pathway. Oh, I fucked up. I'm not gonna win this. I'm taking a mushroom, though. I'm taking my sweet time. Everyone else is fucking racing. It's clear who's gonna, who's not gonna win. I'm not winning this. It'd be very shocking if I did. Codex booking it. Oh, give me, give me that. Uh, I was gonna be a dick and throw the shell at Toadette, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I've done it before. I, I have been an asshole on multiplayer versus before, and I have the video evidence. I've fucking recorded screenshots and shit. Oh, sweet. I win, all because Toadette decided to take the sweet time. I, I want to thank Toadette for being, uh, for taking her sweet time. Thank you, Toadette. Yeah, multiplayer versus win. This is rare. I usually never fucking win multiplayer versus. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, it was a cool level, I guess. Yeah, I am never getting to A rank. I'm happy being in B. Uh, let's try some multiplayer co-op. Uh, normally I do like expert and super expert when I play multiplayer co-op, but uh, that takes fucking forever, so I think I'm going to go with normal. Wow, nobody's fucking doing multiplayer co-op. Look at that. I'm just gonna wait a few more seconds. 
Wow. It's, it's sad. Everybody prefers to go one-on-one -on -one against each other than working together. It's sad. Um, have I done all the the ninja speedruns? Oh, I haven't. Okay, let's do some of these. It's the goal after grabbing at least 100 coins. I've tried, uh, I think, on the first few to, you know, be really quick and break the record and shit like that. But I'm I'm done with that. You know, I obviously know I'm not going to break the record. So I'm just, I'm playing at my own pace. That's the way I'm doing it. You can kill the Wigglers with the cape, right? Yep. Not Chain Shop, though. I'm not going to be fucking going near that thing. Fuck, but I have to. Damn it! Oh, there's another cape there. It doesn't matter. Do I have to get every coin in level? Or is there just like a huge fucking portion of shit? Oh, uh, that's fucking sweet. I don't think I... I don't put stars in my levels very often anymore, which is weird. Oh. That was short-lived. I've got the cape. I'm like, how do I get the fucking coins? I can fly. I got the fucking cape. This would be an interesting level to speedrun, too, because it's got the coin collection theme going on. I had 60, 60, uh, 70 now. Once I get to 100, I'm going to stop collecting. I don't know if that's, uh, if that's, like, on the only amount they have or if they go over. Oh, they go over 100. Okay. I'm done collecting coins then. I'm just getting it to the end. Especially there's 80 seconds left in the clock. I definitely should start booking it. Where's the goal? Oh, there it is. Oh, sweet! You see that? I had to fly with the cape and I hit the wiggler and fucking got to the top of the flagpole. That was cool. Do we, do you still get prizes? Like the stamp cards? Oh, okay, yeah. So, there still are the prizes. Bowser's Castle, the last dash. And why is it? Oh, that's a Link one. I don't know if I'm going to do the Link one on the fucking channel. I got to mentally prepare myself for the fucking my next level, which has to do with fucking Link. Why does this look like Nintendo made it? Troll level. I was worried about the fucking the lightning blast and then the fucking spike killed it. Does it do with puzzles and shit? Oh god. Oh, for some reason I thought there was lava underneath. Oh, sweet. Flame flying cart. How do you shoot? Oh, I'm holding B. I'm just like, I thought it was fucking Y or something. Because it's, it's Y to shoot fireballs on uh, when you're not using the clown cart. Got the key. Does it mean I have to go through the whole thing again, except it's blue? Hey, Junior. Sorry, bud. Bud? Thanks, bud. I probably could have taken the clown cart.
I don't know why the fuck I'm concentrating so much now. I don't think I'm gonna die. Okay. Oh shit, the timer. I wasn't fucking paying attention to that. Give me the star. Yeah, fuck you, Bowser. Like, Bowser didn't even see Toadette coming. She just fucking rolling in the, rolling around in the sky. Bowser's probably like, what the fuck is, oh my god. All right. Oh, God. Yeah, I did not get, get even close to the record on that. Oh, I got the cheetah suit. It's kind of lame, but whatever. Did the new stamp card open up, or... They, 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 are they done with the ninja runs? All right, well, I think, uh, I think I've played a lot in, um, in this episode. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly switch to the Ouija... Not the Ouija, uh, we, yeah, the Ouija. The Switch is the Ouija because uh, he's he's been the only only one we haven't played as in the in the courses today. I mean, we played as the Ouija online, but I mean like in, in my courses because Propellers in the Sky was Blue Toad, Mario Pizza Delivery Guy was Mario, and Hidden Blocks in the Dark that was Toadette. So we'll do the Legend of Mario the Sand Caves as the Ouija. And then uh, we'll switch to Blue Toad and then Mario. Ended off with Mario, I guess. Uh, so uh, next episode is probably going to be the final episode of this Let's Play. It's going to be the most intense one uh, because of this level right here, Legend of Mario Sand Caves. Uh, but uh, this Let's Play has been really fun and I've really enjoyed playing uh, these levels on the channel. Um, there's been, you know, a lot of fun times. And there's been a lot of anger, too, with, like, don't leave the ground. My God, I was playing Kung Pao Enter the Fist for a fucking hour in the last episode that fucking sucked and i honestly thought propellers in the sky would be difficult but i got it on the first try um next level is gonna be hell but uh yeah so i want to thank you guys and gals so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh i'll see you in the final episode of this let's play series next week Bye bye